Welcome back to the next video I'm doing on just some different creative ideas that I like to shoot with in the studio. So in this video, it's gonna be all about the Godox SA 26 degree spotlight. Now this one is really new to me and I've only actually used it for like a couple photo shoots, but I think the potential is just amazing and it does some really, really cool things. What it does is it lets you focus the light beam and the one I have is the, it's the 26 degree version, but you can get different lenses and you can get a 19, a 26 and a 36. And that's how wide the beam is going to be, the spread and you can focus the different lenses to make the edges of the light uh, soft or give it like a really hard line. It also has these metal blades that uh, cut the light uh, so you can cut out parts of the light and you can shape it in different ways built right in directly into the unit itself. The spot attachment has a Bowens mount so you can mount it on any light or strobe that is a Bowens mount. For this particular shoot, I just had a slot that I made and put it across her eyes and then I used LED lights on with a blue gel and then I used a nano, uh, my small nano light Pavo tube. I also used some atmosphere aerosol spray. It gave like a little more ambiance. I was just shooting on a plain gray background and I wanted to get a little bit more depth into the image. And so this, this really helped with that quite a bit. Now the spot attachment also has a, a slot where you can insert gobos and it comes with different, different metal gobos. The way I use it in this shoot here was I just focused it across my subject and then I played with the distance from the background. So I also wanted to point out to you when I was looking to purchase this online, I really didn't find any references to like how big the spread of light would be for the different versions. Now I know there's like math involved and you could probably figure this out, but I'm not good with math. So for me, I couldn't like, I couldn't just write it out and figure out, okay, like what's, what, what angle should I buy? Like, that was my question. Should I get the 19, the 26 or the 36? And I couldn't find a lot of reference to this. So I just want to leave you with this, that I bought the 26 degree and this is focused about 12 feet from my backdrop. So the 19 degree would be clearly a little bit smaller and the 36 would be a little bit bigger. So hopefully that'll give you a little reference if, if you're looking to purchase this, which one will work from you. Again, I was 12 feet from the backdrop. That's gonna do it for this video and this type of lighting that I've enjoyed playing with in the studio to break things up for me. So I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.